Ong Win has come a long way since he was a child, earning five cents a day as a caddy. As a top local finisher in the recent Myanmar Open, the 35-year-old is one of a small group of elite-level golfers in Myanmar. And while the game has long been the preserve of the wealthy and those connected to the military, he's from a humble background. After my father left his job and started working at a golf course, our whole family moved there and I was able to play the game more. Ong Win's success is symptomatic of golf's growing popularity, but Myanmar still lacks top-level courses. The game was first brought here during British colonial rule, and many courses date back more than a century. Years of neglect under the military junta and the tough tropical climate have left fairways less than pristine. The government needs to provide good golf courses for young golf players, and they also need to put on more tournaments. That could be one step towards getting more youngsters to take up the game, from all backgrounds. Ong Win hopes others will be able to follow in his footsteps. Rich people have a good life regardless of whether they can play golf. They have other businesses. But for us, we must succeed because if we lose, our lives will be ruined. Myanmar made its mark as a golfing power at the 2013 Southeast Asian Games, taking three silver medals in the sport. But there's still a long way to go before it can reach its full golfing potential.